Guys, I recently created this look for Katherine Hahn for the Hollywood Foreign Press Association night. So this look is actually so easy. We didn't have that much time to get her ready. So I wanted to show you guys how easy this look was and I'm gonna just recreate it for you using everything I used on Katherine. First, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Pro Palette with Kelly Baker Brows brush. So just take a little bit of the powder and fill in the brow. And a little bit of pencil. Great, great. And then maybe take a little bit of Glossier's Boy Brow. And then just kind of set it with, I'm setting it with the clear. And then I took Max Groundwork a paint pot and I literally just took my fingers and put it all over her eye kind of like a primer but also like a color and I really did use my eye my fingers you guys this is a really pretty taupe color that is a nice way to kind of even the canvas could just do like a day in this. It's really simple. Then I took Tarte in Rose Gold, took a little brush, and went over the top lid area. This just gave a little bit of iciness to the eye. And then I took Tom Ford, I don't know what color this is because it was a sample, and used the eyeshadow to kind of set everything. Then I took Max Eye Coal Crayon in Teddy, and I literally gave her a nice eyeliner, and I made it super thick so it wasn't a tight line. Then I went in with the eyebrow, and I took a dark ebony and kind of just set the entire eye liner. Ta-da! Then I took Better Than Sex Mascara Waterproof. So a lot of you have been saying like, my mascara ends up on my cheeks by the end of the day. This will not flake or anything. It's just gonna stay on. It's a really simple look. Then I took Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener and I put it in the corner of her eyes. This is such a great highlighter. You could also use it as a cheat to highlight down the nose the bow of your lip, under your brows, over here if you want to. It's a great, I love this little stick, it's great. Then I took Makeup Forever's Aqua, as you can see I'm getting low on this, Aqua Eyes in 2L, and did a nice little taupe underneath. After I had done everything, I went back with another moisturizer and just gave the skin another wake up. This was, I used the Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate. Say that three times. It just really just smoothed out the skin, made it super nice and hydrating. Let that dry for a second. So then I used the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. Shake, shake, shake. Love this stuff. Mix two colors. Pretty. And then I took a little bit of the Clay Dupo concealer, a little finger, warm it up. And then anywhere that needed a little extra love, I pressed it in. Then I took Benefits Girl Meets Pearl, just a little squirt of that, applied that to the highlight. Next I added a little bit of color paint in Dusk. the Makeup Forever HD Second Skin Cream Blush in 315. I kind of placed that a little higher up. Then I took a little bit of powder and set most of it. Light dusting over the cheeks, but not too much. Then I took Lorax Luma Satin, went back over it again. Then I went in 
little bit of it sunshine warmth. Give a little bit of contour here. Then I did the lip. So she used Chanel 203, which I gave her. So I don't have it anymore. So I'm using a very similar color. This is Smashbox Punch Drunk, which is like a nice fuchsia color. And the color was had a little shine to it. So I add a little Burt's Bees in Pucker. And like take your matte and instant gloss. And then, ever so slightly, I took a teeny bit of the lipstick and applied a little right on the cheekbone to kind of just pick up the lip color. Now, if you go a little too heavy like I did on that one, you just get your brush back. Let's blend. And that is the look I created for Katherine Hahn. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.